Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today, thanks to the team at Porsche Center Silverstone, I'm bringing you an exterior and interior in-depth tour and exhaust sound video of the 2018 991-911 GT2 RS. The 991 GT2 RS, based on the 911 turbo body, was crafted with one central mandate, to be the most powerful 911 ever crafted by Porsche. This specific car is fitted with the optional 21,000 pound Visec package, which offers main benefits of weight reduction by 30 kilograms and improved stability. I will present key features of this pack throughout the video. To ensure Porsche's power-based goal could be achieved in the real world, they have crafted a machine made from lightweight materials with high levels of aerodynamic downforce and mechanical grip. I couldn't find official weight figures, however, with an official power to weight ratio of 2.85 kilograms per kilowatt and producing 515 kilowatts, the car comes in at 1468 kilograms and is 4549 millimeters long. This manufacturer is known for crafting some of the world's greatest sports cars, but this must surely be a thoroughbred supercar. Looking under the rear engine cover, we see the oil and water tanks to the left, with large fans centrally, with further intakes either side to assist the intercoolers. The new GT2 RS that is rear-wheel drive only is powered by a rear-mounted 3.8-litre twin-turbo six-cylinder boxer engine that produces 700 brake horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque. Turbocharged cars typically experience an issue known as turbo lag, where turbos need time to wind up before becoming effective. But here, Porsche have engineered a system known as Variable Turbine Geometry, or VTG, that allows for high turbine speeds even at lower revs, thus almost wholly eliminating turbo lag. This powertrain produces a 0 to 62 mph or 100 km per hour time of 2.8 seconds and a top speed of 211 miles per hour. To increase weight saving, a small sprung clip has been used to secure the engine cover. It needs a push down to be released. At the rear we find the double exhaust outlets of the valve controlled titanium exhaust system. Let's hear how it sounds switching between valves open and closed with a few revs. The car sits on Visec pack, 20 inch front and 21 inch rear light alloy wheels painted in white gold metallic. They feature depressed center locking wheel nuts with the RS logo centrally. These are 11.5 kilograms lighter than the standard wheels. Braking power is provided by drilled Porsche carbon ceramic discs at each corner, 410 millimeters at the front and 390 millimeters at the rear. These are 50% lighter than conventional discs and have been tested thoroughly in Porsche's racing cars. Rear wheel steer is found at the rear, in addition to torque vectoring plus that comes together to enable sharper cornering ability. Now we've finished the model overview, we can begin the exterior tour from front to back. The front is reminiscent of the GT3 RS, with the larger central air intake. Extended black front splitter finished with GT2 RS. And lateral intakes for the radiators, with LED strips above. Laterally, the splitter flows around a meshed grille vent to allow hot air to flow through and push air around the wheels. Moving up, we find a carbon finished air vent that sends air over the bonnet and top of the car for added downforce. On either side are the dual adaptive xenon main beams and LED daytime running light surrounds. Centrally, we find the bonnet, specific to the Visec package here with exposed carbon sections on each side. The badge at the bottom is just a sticker for decreased weight. Moving up, the knacker vents on either side help to cool the car's braking system by forcing air through channels to the brakes. Now moving to the front arches we find air vents or lubes that decrease pressure by allowing air to move freely outwards. By being set quite far out they also help to direct warm air laterally. Just behind this and on the right side is the petrol tank cap. It has a sprung motion and opens to reveal a 64 litre standard tank. A 90 litre option is also available. Porsche claim the GT2 RS has a combined MPG of 23.9. The windscreen and double wipers are next. Moving back down we first find GT2 RS stickers and the lightweight black side skirts below this. Above are the electrically adjustable carbon wing mirrors. The lowest strut comes in the car's paintwork. 
Behind are the door handles with the large, wide, carbon finished engine air intake behind. These aid the large intercoolers. Above, the roof follows the typical hump design for more controlled airflow with exposed carbon sections mirroring those on the bonnet. These are also exclusive to the Visec package. The rear and side windows here can be specced in a lightweight glass. There are far more aggressive carbon ram air intakes found just behind for the new turbos. If we look underneath, we can see how these feed directly into the engine bay. Moving back, we find the large, manually adjustable carbon rear wing on its forged aluminium struts with body coloured side wings. With the wing set to its maximum angle, the car is claimed to produce a maximum of 450 kilograms of downforce. Below this is an integrated ductile spoiler for extra downforce and a more dynamic aesthetic. This features a slim grilled area behind to facilitate hot air release from the engine bay. The new 2018 design lights are found next. These have a far more 3D angular aesthetic than before. The rear of the GT2 RS, in Porsche tradition, is an uncluttered functional area. Below, there are cutaways just behind the rear wheels and a grilled section to allow hot air to release and flow from the wheels. There's another grilled air release section centrally, with four fins channeling air through the diffuser area coming from under the car. Now we've finished the exterior tour, we can move inside. The car has a standard Porsche key with buttons for lock, unlock and to open the boot. Now moving inside, the door handle pulls up with a smooth motion. The interior here features the Visec package, with specific components receiving more attention later in the video. The interior is finished in red and black leather and Alcantara with carbon fibre inlays. We can now start the interior in-depth tour with the doors. The top section is upholstered in black leather with red contrast stitching. Under this is a long carbon fibre inlay. Below is a smooth Alcantara section with a material pull door handle. Under this is an armrest upholstered in red and black Alcantara with the electric window and mirror controls ahead. A door handle with a speaker behind and storage area below is further forward. At the bottom is another storage area that can be opened or closed. Now moving into the car, the sill area is neither that high nor wide. A carbon fibre sill plaque with GT2 RS sits on top. The front and rear compartment controls are just in from this. Next is the parking brake control. Then exterior light controls and key input and finally the first air vent. The Visac light steering wheel is minimalistic in Porsche tradition and features no buttons. There's a guard's red 12 o'clock marker. The car could be started by simply inserting the key to the right of the wheel. There are five dials ahead of the driver in the instrument cluster. From left to right, oil temperature and pressure, speedo and digital display, rev counter, gearbox position and digital display, 4.6 inch digital trip and info screen, and finally water temp and fuel level. The digital screen offers information for vehicle, temperatures and pressures, audio for the DAB digital radio and aux and USB connections, phone connectivity is next which is followed by navigation which shows basic route information, trip comes next for distance, consumption and average speed, then TPM or the tyre pressure monitor comes after with a sport chrono clock timer, g-force and finally a power meter. The dash above features a speaker and air vent on each side, as well as two vents and a single speaker centrally. The Sport Chrono Clock sits in the middle and is a standard feature. Below there are two manually adjustable air vents. Under this is the new Porsche Communication Management System. The new Connect module has many options. 
the first being the DAB Digital Radio. Media is next for USB, AUX or SD input. Phone connectivity comes after for calls and messages. The navigation module is next. This and the map itself can be used separately. They are both very clear and responsive systems. Sound settings come after this for bass, treble and balance, which is particularly useful if the Bose speaker system has been chosen. Car is the final screen, which shows trip, track and settings information. Below is a cluster of physical controls, firstly audio and direct access buttons for the screen menus. Then air conditioning and ventilation controls. This car has a 7-speed dual-clutch PDK transmission. It can be left in auto or put into manual here or using the panels behind the wheel. The red stripes below are a really nice touch. Behind this on the central column are further buttons from top to bottom, hazard lights, door lock, gearbox sport mode, Porsche Active Suspension Management, Electronic Stability Control or ESC Off, and ESC and Traction Controller. Open or close the Sport Exhaust Valve and Front Axle Lift. Behind this is a small storage compartment with a 12 volt socket. Moving back there's a larger storage compartment with the AUX and USB inputs. The 918 style bucket seats here are exclusive to the Visac package with the embroidery on the headrest. They are constructed from carbon fibre with a slim amount of padding. They feel extremely supportive but are still quite comfortable. Here there are standard guards red seat belts, although full racing harnesses can be optioned. They can be manually moved back or forth with a lever underneath and electronically moved up or down with a button found to the side. Behind this is a titanium roll cage, also exclusive to the Visac package. Naturally, all seat padding and features have been removed from the rear, so only the basic body moulds and GT2 RS embroidery are visible. Moving around we find the glove compartment topped by a carbon strip. As with most modern Porsches, this can be flipped down to reveal two cup holders. A Visec plaque is placed here as the pack is spec. Under is a lockable glove compartment. We can now move to the car's remaining storage. To open the front boot, simply pull up on the forward button. The boot lid is unlatched by swiping the catch right. The lid itself is made of carbon fibre reinforced plastic and as a result is both strong and lightweight. We can look through the NACA vents to see they go straight through to the awaiting air channels below. The boot or frunk itself has approximately the same capacity as a standard 911, so approximately 260 litres. Encased in a carbon housing is a new 5 litre water tank for the atomized spray system to help further cool the intercoolers. There's quite a lot of plastic behind, where we can also see the struts holding the bonnet lid. The bonnet is very light, so lifting up and placing back down is very easy, and requires a slight push below the Porsche sticker to secure. Now moving back inside briefly, we look up to the red Alcantara upholstered roof. There are two LED reading lights ahead with a slim rear view mirror below. Both the driver and passenger have sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors. So that concludes my tour of the sensational 2018 991 911 GT2 RS. Thanks again to Porsche GB and Porsche Center Silverson for the filming opportunity. They have many rare cars and driving experiences, so please find their contact details below. Please subscribe for the latest content and until next time, thanks for watching.